This episode is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals like Stalking Hitler's Generals, when Allied commandos launched daring wartime missions to kill or capture German generals, and Secret Societies, organizations that play a far larger role in our everyday lives than most of us realize from the Illuminati to Freemasons and Skull and Bones. Go to curiositystream.com forward slash Mark Felton for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and non-fiction series. And for our fans, use the promo code Mark Felton and you will save 25% off, which comes to only fourteen ninety nine a year. That's just $1.25 per month. For the very best in history programming, choose Curiosity Stream. 78 years ago, Operation Overlord, the Allied invasion of Normandy, France, got underway with airborne landings behind the German defences, followed by British, American and Canadian landings on five Normandy beaches. Throughout Normandy today are many excellent museums, many featuring preserved World War II armoured vehicles, and many Atlantic Wall bunkers and defences litter the coastal region. Few if any vehicles remain in an abandoned and forgotten state, but incredibly, even in 2022, there is still one location in Normandy that has such vehicles, forgotten and largely unknown outside of the region. On the opposite side of the Normandy Peninsula, west of the port city of Cherbourg, is an area of outstanding natural beauty called Biville Dunes. In 1944, this area formed part of the Atlantic Wall defences, and today several old German bunkers line the wide sandy beach in front of the dunes, including two bunkers that housed 50mm guns, and two others that originally mounted captured French tank turrets, like this example from the nearby British island of Jersey, also occupied by the Germans. Behind the beach is a 300 hectare nature park between the villages of Biville and Sueville Aigue. This area was liberated by US forces during the campaign to capture Cherbourg and the rest of Normandy in July 1944 the beach defences being abandoned by the retreating Germans and never used, as the US assault came from the rear. Among the dunes is a small treasure trove of World War II US vehicles, including not one, but three M4A1 Sherman tanks. But they have nothing to do with the Normandy campaign. Instead, the Beville dunes were used between the 1970s and 2014 as a French army live fire range until the area was handed to the local authorities and became a nature park. During World War II, the French army, reconstituted in Britain and the Middle East after the defeat of France, fielded three armoured divisions, and the US supplied them with 656 M4 tanks via Lend-Lease. Contrary to popular prejudice, France fought valiantly on the Allied side after the 1940 defeat, its US and British equipped divisions, including colonial troops, fighting in North Africa, Italy and Northwest Europe. Advancing from southern France following the Operation Dragoon landings there in September 1944, the French army advanced alongside US forces into southern Germany, and it was a French armoured column that first occupied Hitler's mountaintop home, the Berghof, on the Albersalzberg in southern Bavaria in May 1945. After the war, the US sold a further 1,254 Sherman tanks of various types to France, who kept them in service in her army until 1955, when they were replaced by the French-built AMX 1375. However, the gendarmerie kept some Shermans going until 1965. 
Many retired Shermans ended their days as range targets, including those at Beville. One M4A1 has been partially cut up, while another has lost its 76mm gun's barrel. One is in intact condition. According to their serial numbers, two of the three Shermans were built in the United States in June 1944, the same month as D-Day. Other World War II vehicle wrecks at Beville Dunes are an M8 armoured car and two M3 half-tracks, one almost completely destroyed. So how is it that these historically interesting and quite valuable tanks lying abandoned and unloved 77 years after the war in Europe ended? The answer, as with most things, is money. All the Beville vehicles were purchased by the famous Airborne Museum at San Meriglis. But removing them from the protected dunes would cost in the region of 50,000 euros and cause massive damage to the natural environment as roads would have to be cut through the dunes to reach the tanks. It would also be an administrative nightmare, and so for the foreseeable future these vehicles will probably remain in the dunes. Unintentionally visceral reminders of the region's violent World War II past. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.